Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today I am going to be watercolor painting a weed leaf. That is correct. That is exactly what I'm going to be watercolor painting in today's video. Happy 420. This video is going to be going live on 420. I hope all of y'all are enjoying your day, whether or not you are smoking. But if you guys are smoking, I certainly hope you guys are enjoying the weed holiday. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. But I am going to be using my Pencil Graph Gear 500 0.5 millimeter lead size mechanical pencil to first off, of course, sketch the weed leaf that I'm going to be watercolor painting in today's video. I'm going to be using Using my pencil click eraser to correct any lines if I mess them up with my mechanical pencil and then after that I'm going to actually be watercolor painting the well weed leaf I'm going to be drawing in today's video and watercolor painting in today's video with my Windsor and Newton portable watercolor set as we can see right here you know what I'm saying and then after I watercolor paint the weed leaf, I am then going to be going over all the lines I previously made with my Sharpie S gel pen in 0.7 millimeter size. This is a pretty good pen for the job, and I'm pretty happy with it, I will admit, besides the weight of the pen. It's just a little bit too light for my liking. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and move everything to the side. I'm going to go ahead and grab my iPad and go ahead and get a reference photo up. I think this probably should work. It's right from Wikipedia, as we can see. I've got to have a reference photo from this for this, I will admit, because if I don't, then this drawing is not going to turn out very good. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to put, oh no, I'm just going to put my reference photo right here, right in front of the paper. I'm going to go ahead and move my paper back. I'm just going to stand up for a minute and just make sure it's centered in screen and everything like that. And now I'm going to go ahead and get to drawing. So I think I'm going to start with the top leaf right here. And I want this leaf to take up the entire page. So I'm going to start with the top leaf right here, right in the middle of the page. I think I am. And let's just have this come down. And let's just start like that kind of thing. And I'm not really, I see there are a lot of ridges on the leaf and everything like that. I don't think I'm going to do every single one of those ridges when I'm drawing it. I'm just going to make it look more like a normal leaf and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, that's kind of the plan. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do all of those ridges, but I'm just going to have it kind of widen up. And I'm just going to have it come all the way down to about there, probably. And then I'm just going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm just going to have that widen up. Just come all the way down, just like that. That might not be wide enough. That might not be wide enough. I'm thinking I want it to be a little bit wider. So let's... Let's try that. This is definitely going to take me a moment, I will admit. I'm not very good at drawing things from real life, but I'm going to try my hardest. All right, I think I'm much more happy with the uh, widened lines, so I am now going to go ahead and erase these lines and worst case scenario if I'm not happy with the widened lines afterwards I can always just redraw the thinner lines so I'm just going to go and erase all of that erase all of that up there right there there we go and go ahead and fix that those are some of those lines and there we go should be all good there we go no complaints on my behalf and then now I've got to go ahead and do so there's one two three four five six seven leaves I thought there were only five leaves Oh, okay. Yeah, because I thought there were only five leaves on a weed leaf, but no, I'm getting it confused with an oak leaf. I'm so used to seeing oak leaves. There's tons of oaks where I live. That makes more sense. So let's just go ahead and have that come down just a little bit further, just kind of close off a little bit more. And now let's go ahead and start with the second one. So I think I'm just going to go like that. And then I'm just going to have it come back down like that. And then now I'm going to go ahead and just start coming, having it come up just like that. And then kind of come down just like that. There we go. And then now let's go ahead and do the one, the other one on this side. So there's one more I got to do on this side. So I'm going to think that should be good just like that. Oh, 
hopefully that's all good. I think that's all good. I think I'm all good with that. And then now I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, so I've done three of the seven leaves. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on this leaf and this leaf now, and then I'm gonna do two bottom leaves, I think, and then I'm gonna do the stem. But so far, this is turning out okay. This is turning out okay so far. It doesn't look exactly like a weed leaf, but I think I can make it work. You know what I'm saying? I think I can make it work. And, ah, oh man, my phone's on 20%. I can't believe this. I do this in every single video. My phone goes on 20% in every single video. I got to plug in my phone now. I cannot believe this, y'all. I cannot believe this. I do this, like, every single video. I swear. Every single video. Let's plug in my phone real quick. There you go. My phone is all plugged in now. I ain't got to worry about my phone dying on me now. We're only five minutes of the video and I already did this stuff. I cannot believe me, you know what I'm saying? I cannot believe me. Let's go ahead and work on the second one though. So I'm just gonna have that actually come down just like that kind of thing. And then I think I'm gonna have kind of come up like this and I'm gonna have that kind of come back like that. All right. Just like that. I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. And now let's go ahead and do the, what is it, one, two, three, the fifth leaf I need to do. And so this leaf is just kind of, kind of, kind of going to be going like this. This one definitely is not like perfect kind of thing. I think I want to make it a little bit more bulbous, just a little bit. And that's why I have my eraser with me. So let's go and just try this. Just sit at a little bit of a different angle. There we go. And then now I'm gonna go ahead and do that one. I'm gonna go and do the stem. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other leaf stretching this way. Piece of lint stuck to my stuck to my watch. What the hell? What the hell? There we go. Much better. Alrighty though. That is the weed leaf. It's not exactly centered on the page, I will admit, but I'm not going back and redoing this. I'm I'm I don't care. I don't care about it not being centered on the page. That's okay. I think it's looking not exactly like I want though. I want it to be a little bit more bulb. I want this leaf to be a little bit more bulbous, and I want it to be a little bit shorter as well. So that's going to be what I'm trying to fix up. But I think other than that, it's all good to go. There we go. All right, that's much better now. That is much better now. And I'm thinking this one as well, I want it to be a little bit longer. And a little bit more bulbous on this side. There we go. Alrighty. I'm thinking that should work. I'm thinking that should work. Now, of course, there are some other details that I need to add to this drawing because, of course, I'm not just going to be watercolor painting a weed leaf. I'm going to be watercolor painting a weed leaf with a bunch of faces on it. Of course, I got to do it. That's kind of what I like doing. I'm going to take a sip of my Monster Zero Ultra real quick, and then I'm going to go ahead and just sketch those faces. Now, the one thing I really do need to consider is whether I want the faces to all be you know, like uh, the same uh, on the same sort of um, right. So what's the right way of putting it? Do I want them all to be like just like straight up and down kind of thing? Or do I want some of them to be like upside down and all of that to kind of stretch around with the weed leaf? I think I want all of them to be straight. So I'm going to go ahead and just do, I think this. 
this. I need to go back through and do that eye again because it's too small. And I think I'm just going to have the faces be like that. It's not, not going to be anything super complex today or anything like that kind of thing. Just going to make it simpler than not just to make it easy on myself. And I'm going to make sure not to watercolor paint through the eyes either. I'm going to, or at least I'm going to try to make sure I don't, uh, just so I can have some white portions right there uh, that fit in, that make the uh, drawing be a little bit more distinct than it would otherwise be. And there we go. I think that is all good. I think that's all good. I don't think there's any complaints on my behalf. I think I'm just going to leave it like that in all honesty. And there we go. All right. That's what I'm going to be watercolor painting in today's video. Of course, since it's a weed leaf, I'm going to be having to make it green. I don't think I need this anymore, though. So I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, pop, just like that. We can see all my very cool stickers. We have a squirrel right there. Young gravy sticker I got from a concert uh, sticker that is from a guy in my area. I, I don't I think I was given this by a friend, and he got given it by the guy. I got a Supreme sticker, fake Supreme sticker, Coors Light sticker, of course, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go and put my iPad on my bed, and if I need it again, I'll grab it to get the reference photo. I'm going to go ahead and get my watercolor paint set all opened up, though, and I am going to grab some pot. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, 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 man. Oh, man. I got myself. I got myself all hyped up with my own joke. I've got I've got some pot in today's video, y'all. Oh, man. Can y'all believe it? Man, I'm I'm looking. For, I made this joke in like another video a little bit ago. I'm going to be. Uh, 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 I'm going to be smoking. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm going to be. I'm going to be. I'm going to be smoking some pot in today's video. Ha <laughs> ha. No, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm not. I'm not smoking any pot in today's video. I've just got a pot right here. To hold this up because as you guys can see it likes to fall over and i don't i don't i don't understand i don't understand why it likes to fall over so i've just got that pot right there to not only hold my brushes but to also uh just uh well i guess just hold this up and everything like that kind of thing so that is the plan you know what i'm saying that is the plan oh my god i just completely i just realized i've made a huge mistake y'all probably might have noticed this but i'm missing my cup with water in it but thankfully, I have a bottle of water in my room, and I have my cup right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour in a little bit of my Great Value Purified Drinking Water into this cup right here, just like that. And I'm going to put that back where it was, and I'm just going to put that right there, and there we go. Now I am all ready to go ahead and actually start watercolor painting a weed leaf in today's video. Let's go and get some water on there. Let's go ahead and grab some green. This is the lighter green, and this is the darker green. I'm going to start with a coat of light green, and I'm also thinking I might want to go in... Ah, uh, do I want to do... I'm going to take a look at my iPad again. I'm going to take a look at my iPad again, and just take a look at some more realistic photos than this one right here. So let's just take a look. Okay, well, that's black and white. That doesn't help me. Let's see, here's like one. Okay, so there's of course the ridges and everything like that. I'm not going all that much in detail, but I do definitely think I want like darker areas near the edges and everything like that. So I think I'm gonna do one base coat of the lighter green and then I'm gonna, go <clears throat> excuse me, and then I'm gonna come back maybe and do another, I think I'm gonna do multiple coats of the normal green and then I might do a coat of the darker green depending on how it turns out. I think that is the plan. Yeah. Go put this back. That was very helpful. Let's go ahead and start watercolor painting, though. And I think I'm just going to start with the top of the leaf right here. And I'm just going to be doing wet on dry today. Just to get a nice, even coat going. And yeah, I'm definitely thinking I'm going to need some of that darker... Some of that darker color. but I'm not gonna be doing any of that until there's multiple coats of the uh, lighter green already put down.
You know, so far so good. Turning out pretty good so far. Cannot complain, you know what I'm saying? Cannot complain. Just like that. And it went over just a little bit, but hey, that's no biggie, you know what I'm saying? It's just personality of the drawing now. Alrighty, there we go. And there is the base coat all done. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. It's looking pretty good so far in my personal opinion. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do a coat of the darker green. I'm just going to grab a bunch of that, see how... Oh, wow, that's more like teal and it really is like dark green. Oh. Maybe I won't do a coat of that. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? That's like... That's not dark green, that's teal. This is more blue than it is green. Do y'all see this? What the hell? Okay, maybe, no, maybe not. Oh, sheesh. Um, I do want to bring some darkness to it, but I don't know if I want to do black. I think maybe... I'm going to be really careful. Just make it a little bit darker with one very light layer of black. And I'm going to do another layer or two of the green on top of it, of course. Ooh, that was a bit too dark. I'm just going to continue spreading that out and hope that works. That was definitely a bit darker than I wanted it to be. That's okay, though. It's whatever. Got to be really, really, really careful with the black. 
So if I add too much, oof, it ain't coming back off. Alrighty. So there we go. <clears throat> That's looking pretty good. I think just taking a look at where it's dry and where it's wet. Did I do a did I do a, uh, some gray right there? I don't think I did any gray on this one. This one's not looking as gray as the other one. So let's just go ahead and do a layer of gray on that. And there we go. Alrighty, now I am thinking it is time for me to go ahead. Water's still all good. Let's go ahead and grab some more green and let's go ahead and do another layer. Just taking a look at where it's wet and where it's dry, I think I'm all good to do another layer right here. Even though the gray isn't really peeking through super well, I do definitely think it still has a much more significant effect than not that is for sure on just making the drawing itself look a lot more um, a lot more dark. And so I definitely think that was a better idea than not to do. And I'm very glad I didn't mess it up. Oh, and there we go. I accidentally grabbed some black. Glad I didn't just think I grabbed green and then just go at it because oh man, I would have just I would have been I would have I would have had to kick myself in the butt for that. Because I was just now talking, I was just talking about, literally just talking about how I was glad I didn't mess up the entire drawing by using black. Or the entire watercolor painting by using black. And then there I am, about to use black. There we go, certainly no complaints on my behalf. This is going pretty good though. Very, very, very happy with it. I definitely do want to do some more layers, I think, on, and I kind of want to make this look a little bit messy as well, a little bit messier as well, so I really want to have like some really deep areas and some really light areas. Um, this is very flat as a whole right now, and I don't want it to be nearly as flat as it is. Not that I'm really helping myself. Um, so I definitely need to figure out, like, with black, it's a lot, e it's really easy because you can either get, like, really light tones with black or you can get super dark tones. With this green, on the other end, it is just a, it's an easier color to use. It's not nearly as challenging because it automatically comes out more flat just because it's a lighter color. So now I'm trying to challenge myself to make it look like shit. Almost done with this. I'm just going to stand up for a moment and just take a look at how this is looking. It's definitely not as big as I'd like, but yeah, it is what it is. Can't complain too much. Alrighty, though, I think I'm going to do... I'm not using any of that darker green. I don't know what the hell is up with that. Let's start going... For like some really dark areas. Thank you. 
really want the tip of that to be a lot darker, but it is what it is. And then now, since we're going almost at an angle, I'm going to have it kind of like that. And then just blend it all together. There we go, all right. And now I'm gonna go and work on the stem. Perfect. And then now I'm gonna go and start working on the right side, I think. So, I'm trying to figure out how I wanna do this. So I think I'm just gonna do like the side right here, be darker and it'd be darker towards the front than it is towards the end. Because if the lighting is going from this way, that's how it would look, I think. There we go. And then I just got one more to do. Just like that. All right. And now all of this is very 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 wet at the moment so i've just got to let this dry i've just got to let this dry for the moment uh but certainly no complaints on my behalf i think it's turning out pretty good so far i think maybe one or two more layers uh, should get this going pretty good i don't really think there's any other details that i want to add to the weed leaf or anything like that i'm just trying to draw a weed leaf in today's video uh, do i think this is my best drawing ever uh, definitely not definitely not but I mean, like, hey, I'm trying something a little bit different, trying something a little bit new, uh, so I, I'm not really going to diss myself for it, that is for sure. There we go. There we go, and let's go ahead and grab some more to make this area just a little bit darker than it already is. I definitely used a little bit too much water on these sides, but that's okay, I'm just going to let it dry. Certainly no complaints on my behalf, though. This is turning out pretty good so far. Pretty happy with it. I ain't gonna lie. And I think it'll look a lot better once I add all of the... Uh, once, once I add all of the... Get some of that off. Once I add all of the lines with my Sharpie S gel pen as well, I think it'll look a lot better than it's looking right now. Uh, but this is very wet. I literally just need to let it dry now. Uh, so I think while I'm doing that, I am going to grab myself a little bit of a snack, in all honesty. I'm going to grab myself a little bit of a snack. Oh, I've got some uh, Quinn creamy peanut butter filled pretzels with me today. Unopened bag. Ah, it's snack time with Jacob Drinking Joes. Uh, maybe I'll give you guys a full review. Uh, the packaging is is decent, I will admit. Uh, the pretzels themselves look delicious. Let's go ahead and get a review taste-wise. Mm, very crunchy. They kind of feel a little bit stale, but they're not. Very salty. Very creamy peanut butter and cheer. Very good. That was a very quick 30-second review by me. Oh, and they got some double pretzels too. Can't complain. Mm. 
Just gotta let this dry though. It's gonna take a minute. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely did make the mistake of using a little bit too much water, but that's okay. That's not a biggie at all. And I'm thinking like one or two more overall layers, some more dark, uh, one layer, uh, another layer or two uh, to make it darker, and I think it'll all be good. I think the next layer I'm going to do though is just going to be an overall layer, just darken up the entire thing. And then I've just got to do uh, one or two more layers to really darken up the uh, areas I want to be dark. I'm done eating pretzels for the minute, though. For the moment, though. My main complaint with these pretzels is that we're like fucking four dollars. It's insane. They're really damn good. They're gluten free and dairy free, but they're four dollars because of that reason. It really is nuts. You know, taking a look at it through the camera, I'm pretty happy with it. Can't complain. Definitely some things I think I could do better, but um, it's definitely better than not, that's for sure. Alrighty, though, it seems like the two upper leaves up here have pretty much dried, so I think I might darken up some of those areas just a little bit more, and then just wait for the other leaves to dry as well. But at first off, I'm going to take a sip of water, because my mouth is a little bit dry after, uh, after eating those pretzels, I ain't going to lie, y'all. Hmm. No complaints on my behalf, that is for sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to roll up my sleeve, I'm going to grab my brush, just grab some paint, and let's go and get back to watercolor painting after taking that quick little bit of a break. And let's see. Alrighty. So now I've just got to let this dry again. <laughs> well, that is how watercolor paint is, isn't it? At least it's better than acrylic, where acrylic takes like an hour to dry. At least this only takes like, what, a couple minutes at most kind of thing? Man, I can't complain too much. I might go take a piss in a couple minutes, in all honesty. But, uh, yeah, I'm thinking a couple more layers and it'll be all done. Uh, but thankfully, all of these are drying more quickly than not. I do think I am going to spread this out, because this is just a glob of water. This is going to take a long time to dry if I don't do that. I'm just going to go ahead and use some of that right here as well. And right here, just like that. Spread some of that out too, just to get it dry a little bit faster. And that's drying right now. And this is still drying. Just like that. 
All right, cool, 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 cool. Ooh, excuse me. All righty, well, bet, bet. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just start doing some more details because I am impatient. That glob of water is still there. I'm going to actually grab off my brush just to grab some of that. Because it does not need to be that wet. Oopsies. I'm trying to use a dry brush now to really add in. You guys might be able to see my head right now, but I'm gonna try to be I'm gonna be trying to use a dry brush now to add in some really, really, really dark areas without really shading it too much. I need to stop instinctively thinking that I need to wash off my brush every time. It's just something that I'm used to doing, but I don't need to do it. Here we go, I did it again. Nope, I tried to do it again. Can y'all believe me? Yeah, I can believe me. I don't know if y'all can, but I certainly can. And then I'm thinking, that's still pretty wet. And then I'm thinking I want to darken up. So this right here. And then once I'm done with the final coat, I'm gonna go ahead and just start fucking around and just kind of make it a little bit more my style, I think.
And there we go. All right. I think that's pretty good. I think I want to do like one more all the way down that. Just like that kind of thing to really kind of uh, extenuate the shading and everything like that. I don't know if I'm probably going to cover that up with the black line, but either way, I want to do that not anyway. All right, I'm just going to stand up for a minute, take a look at how it's looking. It's looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it if I do say so myself. So far, so good. There are definitely some portions like this portion right here is too white. And I think the rest of them, this portion is too white. But I think other than that, it's all good. Those are really the only areas I want to touch up and make it look a little bit darker. There we go, all good now. There are some other areas as well. Like this one right here. And I think that's it. I think that should be it. I think the middle of the leaf I want to make a little bit darker as well. And there we go. Alrighty, cool, cool, cool. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I am definitely feeling pretty good about this. Yeah, sweet. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf at all. Yeah, feeling pretty good about this. I ain't gonna lie. Hmm, all right, sweet, sweet. Yeah, I think I've just gotta let it dry now. I think I, yeah, I've just gotta let it dry. And then I think I'm gonna add, I think probably one more coat. And just taking a look at it, there are some areas which are a little bit too light for my liking. There we go. Alrighty, I'm gonna go to the bathroom and then I'm gonna go and continue with this. So I'll see y'all in just a minute. Ah! I'm back, y'all. I'm back. How's this looking? How's this looking? Looking pretty dry, if I do say so myself. I'm just gonna stand up, take a look at it from a distance. Are there any other details I wanna add? I definitely wanna darken up some areas more. And I think that's really all I wanna do. And then I think after that, because the shading is looking pretty good to me, uh, I think after I darken up some more of the areas, I think I'm gonna be all ready to go ahead and start with my Sharpie S gel pen. So I'm gonna go ahead, just dry off my brush a little bit, grab some paint, and I'm just gonna start darkening up some areas. And this is what's so forgiving about these lighter colors. It's just so forgiving because you can just lob on a ton and it'll still look good. It just does not matter what you do. It's just so forgiving. And honestly, that's one of the things I'm honestly enjoying about mostly using black in all of my drawings is that it's not forgiving. So it gives it kind of an interesting look when you mess up.
And I think that should be it. I think that should be it. I am going to just go over with a bunch of water now and just darken up some areas. And then once that dries, I'm going to go ahead and start going over everything with my uh, Sharpie S gel pen. Oh no, I just realized I completely forgot. I, I said when I was starting this that I was going to try to make sure the eyes weren't uh, weren't covered, but uh, well, 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 whoopsies, it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. I just completely, I completely whoops, went out of my head. Completely forgot about that. It is what it is though, it is what it is though. Cannot complain too much. Just trying to get all of this going. And there we go. I think it's pretty much mostly all good. I'm going to go ahead and just go over this bottom section one more time. And there we go. Alrighty, I'm thinking that is just about ready to have the pen go over it. I do want to just kind of blur it. This is kind of going to have a really sharp edge to it, so I kind of want to fix that and that. And I think everything else I could not really care less about. I think that's all good otherwise. So, you know, I think that's all good. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I just got to let it dry now, and then I'm all good to go. You know what I'm saying? Then I'm all good to go. Yeah. No, looking pretty good to me. I'm just going to let it dry. Chill out for a minute. No. Oh. minute while this is drying. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm all done though. Uh, I guess I'd might as well go ahead and clean up then. Go and close that up. Move that over to the side. Dry off my brush. There we go. Go ahead and uh, Shove this over to the side as well. I'm just going to put that back where I normally put it. And I'm going to go ahead and put what I had in here. I had some calendula in here. I'm just going to go, boom, just like that. Put that back. Put this back where it's supposed to be. Go ahead and uh, throw this away. We can see it bleeding through a decent amount, but thankfully not onto the table. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that back in. Just throw out my trash. I still need to throw away my trash. I'm going to go and move this just so when I'm drawing it with my Sharpie S gel pen. I don't accidentally knock it over or anything like that. <laughs> Nothing left of my monster. <clears throat> Can't believe this. Can't believe this. Alrighty, though. Just gotta wait for it to dry. I'm impatient. Just gotta wait for it to dry, just gotta wait for it to dry, it'll dry, it'll dry, just impatient. <laughs> it's looking pretty good though, looking at it through the camera, I'm pretty happy with it, I ain't gonna lie. So uh, certainly no complaints on my behalf. It is definitely taking a minute to get this done, but uh, I don't really think that's a bad thing. I don't really think that's a bad thing, I'm just walking around my room now. I don't really think that's a bad thing kind of thing. It's worth it to get what I want to get done, done, after all, you know what I'm saying? So I really cannot complain. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of what I had on my iPad. That's my, uh, boom. I'm gonna go and just exit out of this because I don't think I need it anymore. I'm just gonna close that real quick. Yeah. Just like that, perfect, perfect. I think after this video, I might go eat some pizza. And I got myself Pack of American Spirits. So I think I might have some pizza and then have one of these. That sounds pretty good to me. I ain't gonna lie. 
Here's three blocks are some gas. I had one earlier, the first one of the pack earlier, and I was like, whew, man, I now remember. I was like, man, I want, I'm like, yes, I think I talked about this in a video I made a little bit ago because I picked the pack up uh, yesterday, I want to say, and I upload my videos in no particular order. But I was, I think, yeah, I think I was talking about it in one of yesterday's videos because I recorded two videos yesterday just to help myself get ahead a little bit on pre-recording. And what was I saying? I think I said I picked it up and I was really looking forward to them. And I, I had the first one of the pack today and I was like, holy shit, wow, this thing is, this is so good kind of thing. And I think, I think I might have to, um, I'm gonna have to remember after I smoke the rest of the pack to kind of go through and be like, okay, what are my favorite cigarettes? Because honestly, I really do think my taste in cigarettes has been changing lately. I think my taste buds have started prioritizing more high quality stuff over lower quality stuff. And don't get me wrong, like the Marlboro Southern Cut, the Marlboro Blend 27 and the Marlboro Virginia Blend, they're really good cigarettes. But uh, man, sometimes I get a pack and it's just super chemically and it's just not consistent. It really is a disappointment. Don't get me wrong, they're cheap. Yeah, sure. No, they're, they're not super cheap. There's cheaper alternatives that are actually better. Uh, Kentucky's best. You just can't find them in this area. Um, but I think I might have to reconsider my list of favorite cigarettes to... I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it, but I might have to reconsider just simply because... Man, Marlboro's been pissing me off lately. Marlboro has definitely been pissing me off a little bit lately. I ain't gonna lie. Uh, just with the inconsistency that they have going on, just a little bit with sometimes there's chemical taste, sometimes there's not. It is a little bit irritating. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Uh, but that certainly is what it is kind of thing. That certainly is what it is. There's nothing you can really do about that. But uh, switch to a brand that has a more consistent, non-chemically flavor. Um, and honestly, American Spirit, the American Spirit Black, is one of my favorite cigarettes already kind of thing. So I think I might have to be buying more packs of that in the future, just seeing what's going on with that kind of thing uh, and whatnot. Hmm. I'm gonna have to consider that. Man, I don't know. I don't know. Gotta think. Gotta think. That one I had earlier though was amazing. American Spirit Blacks have their issues. American Spirits in general have their issues. Don't get me wrong, but man, that one that one earlier was amazing. I loved it. But maybe I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of thinking out loud right now. But just waiting for this to dry and everything like that kind of thing. Just kind of bullshit. But um, yeah, I'm just kind of thinking. Hmm. Maybe my taste in cigarettes really is changing. Maybe my maybe maybe, maybe I'm starting to prioritize higher quality stuff now that I've I, now that I've actually tried really 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 good high quality stuff, and now that I've also tried some really bad stuff, and uh, I think maybe I'm starting to actually appreciate higher quality tobacco products a little bit more. Honestly, I might be I might be like of course my preference for sweeter cigarettes is still the same. American Spirit Blacks are definitely sweeter than not, but they're not super sweet. It's a dynamic. Uh, it's it's not super dynamic, but it's more dynamic than not. I definitely have to say. But, I don't know. My preference is still the same. I think I'm just starting to prefer stuff with less chemical taste because the chemical taste is just coming through so distinctly on a lot of cigarettes I've been smoking this late these days. And it is a little bit annoying. It is a little bit annoying. I don't like that chemical taste all that much. I ain't gonna lie. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. Stuff to think about, right? Stuff to think about. Yeah. Might have to make a video about that on my main channel. But yeah. I think that's actually a good video topic. I'm gonna actually... Oh, where's my little notebook? Oh, where's my little notebook? Where's my little... I don't have a little notebook. I'm out of paper to write on. Oh, no, I ran out of my notebook. Where's some paper I can just bullshit on? Ah, I'm out of paper. Oh, no. I'm all out of paper to sketch on. Oh, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. I'm going to take, what am I thinking, what am I thinking, I'm going to grab, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, I don't really have any paper I can just sketch on, I'm going to like just write, jot a note down on, besides a receipt, but I don't know if I'm trying to put a receipt on camera, oh, I have a notebook right here, there we go, let's take this notebook right here, is this one mostly full, it is mostly full, Oh, wow, this thing is really full. Actually, yeah, this notebook is, like, full up. Okay, maybe not. I can't believe me. I have no area to write down notes. And I'm using my phone to record right now, so I can't write it down on my phone. I can't believe me, y'all. I cannot believe me. What am I doing? I'm just going to take this little drawing and just, uh... I've already written on the back of this drawing. I can't believe me. 
I'm all out of sticky notes too. I really am all out of paper. I cannot believe this. I really am all out of paper. I'll just jot it on here for the moment. I'll just jot it on the next page for the moment. Let's see. Uh, make video about my tobacco preferences changing. Question mark. There we go. All right. And this is definitely getting more and more dry. This is dry. This is still wet. This is still wet. This is still wet. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just start going over this area right here. That's more dry than not, so I'm going to go ahead and go over this leaf too. This is still decently wet. This is still mildly wet. That's still kind of wet. All right, gotta wait a little bit longer now. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this leaf. Because so I think the outside of it should be good. I think it's just the inside that's uh, a little bit wet. Dummy wet. Just like that. And let's just go ahead and go over that, like that kind of thing. And just wait for this to dry just a little bit longer. This is taking me. A, this is taking a minute. That's I think good enough to go ahead and do the edges of. Not the face quite yet. Oh yeah, do I want to give him arms and legs? No, probably not. I think I might just leave it like this. I don't think I'm gonna do arms and legs today. Is this all good? The edges are. The edges are all good. That one's still really wet, though. I'm gonna wait on that one, and this one should be all good to go ahead and do. And of course, I'm gonna go over all the outline again once I'm done. Once I've done the faces and whatnot. I think this one is dry enough where I can do the face now. Maybe not. It is what it is. I've already committed. It's still very wet, but that is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. This one's probably dry enough. Maybe not. It's still pretty wet, but it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it now. That one's definitely still too wet. This one's soaking wet still. I don't know what the deal is with that one. How's this one? Probably good enough to go and do the face of. And this one's still pretty wet as well. There we go. And uh, yeah, no, this is turning out pretty good so far. I'm pretty happy with it. I think I'm all good to go and do the edge on this one. So I'm going to go and do just that.
There we go. And then now we're just waiting on this guy, which I think the edges are good enough to do. So we should stretch it over just like that kind of thing or move the page over just a little bit and just start going over just like this. And hopefully that works okay. Ooh, am I smeared at all? No. I'm just getting sick of waiting. I, my patience is wearing thin. But hey, that's how watercolor is. It is some of the most rewarding, yet some of the most frustrating. It is one of the art most rewarding, yet most frustrating art mediums. I ain't gonna lie. I love it, but I hate it at the same time. I'm gonna go do the face on this one. Alrighty, and I'm thinking this is the last one, but I really can't do much with it right now because it's still soaking wet. Come on, dry out faster. So I am going to go ahead and just go over the entire edge of the weed leaf once again with my Sharpie S gel pen. Just to get all of the lines just a little bit more distinct and make them a little bit more uh, dark just to make the entire drawing a little bit more distinct and a little bit more dark. Move this, ah, move this just like this kind of thing. Just get all these lines just the way I want. Is this dry now? Uh, it's dry enough. I'll go and do the faces on this one now, on these now. Make sure y'all can actually see that properly. Y'all probably seen the back of my head hella today. Messed that up a little bit, but that's okay. Just adds personality to drawing, right? Right? Yeah. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some of the faces. Just make them a little bit darker, a little bit more distinct, because I did some of these when the paper was still really wet, so it's no, the lines are not really showing up too distinctly. So I'm just gonna go over some of those lines again.
And there we go. I think that is it. I think I'm all done. Well, that took a minute. I ain't gonna lie. That definitely did take a little bit longer than I was hoping it was gonna take. But it is what it is. Certainly no complaints on my behalf either way. I am very happy with how this turned out, though. I do wish it was a little bit more centered in the page. Uh, but that is what it is. There's nothing I can do about that. Uh, there is one thing I do. Just rem I did just remember I wanted to clean up a little, little bit. And that's just this up here. Just make it a little bit darker and whatnot. All right, there we go. Perfect. Um, oh, I think I'm all done, though. Yeah, I think I'm all done. I really have no complaints on my behalf about how this turned out. I think it's pretty good. Looks very much in my style. Uh, there are some areas that I... Wouldn't mind touching up, but I don't really care to because I've already been at this for a decent amount of time, I will admit. So I think I'm just going to leave them as is. Uh, but I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. It's been a lot of fun to watercolor paint a weed leaf in today's video. Uh, I hope you all of y'all, if you guys are smoking today, if you guys are not smokers, or if you guys are smokers but are not able to smoke today, are enjoying your 420 nonetheless. And I, if you guys are smoking hella today, I certainly hope you guys are hella enjoying your 420. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that's what I'm saying. Uh, but, but, yeah, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I am pretty happy with how this turned out. Um, so, yeah, yeah. No, I don't really think I have anything else I want to do to it. So, ooh, there's one thing I want to do. do, 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 do. It's all good. It's all, it's all good. It's all, it's it's all good. It's all good, right? But let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any constructive criticism for the drawing I did today, and let me know what you guys think of it as a whole. Let me know whether you guys think it's good. Let me know whether you guys think it's bad. Just let me know in the comments down below, and let me know, of course, if you guys have any tips or tricks for watercolor painting. Let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you guys know how to watercolor paint better than I do. Of course, I assume a decent amount of you pro might know how to watercolor paint better than I do. Uh, just let me know what you guys think of my water painting skill, watercolor painting skills. Am I good? Am I bad? Any tips and tricks you all have? Let me know in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Like, subscribe, check out my Instagram, my book, my merch, my P.O. Box, and my main channel, all in the description down below. Go check it all out along with my books, specifically uh, on Amazon. Self-published, 12 bucks on Amazon. Go check it out. Um... Yeah, go buy my book. It's it's a good read, in my opinion, although I am biased. I'm the author, after all. Uh, but, yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?